Welcome back, everybody. The title of Toledo's Biggest Loser is given to the person who has proven that they are committed to an overall physical challenge and have literally worked their butt off. And this year's champion is Jerry Schultz. Here's how he did it. Here he is, Toledo's Biggest Loser, Jerry Schultz. Not only is he our current champ, he's also a dad. And his daughter, Heather, has turned him into a runner. I couldn't run for five minutes a year ago. Um, now I did the half marathon in two hours and 32 minutes. So I was pretty proud of that. He says Heather has been his driving force throughout this competition, texting and calling each other daily. During the last three months of the competition, they worked out seven days a week. Nope, never took a day off until the finale. We text each other, we talk to each other, you know, are you going today? You know, she'd have her days where she didn't want to go. I'd have days I didn't want to do it. Um, but we did it. We, you know, we kept on each other. You know, the last three months of the competition, we worked out seven days a week. We, we never took a day off. And I think that was key to, to getting where we wanted to be. So what was Jerry's strategy throughout the competition? Consistency. It was very difficult, uh, very hard to stay motivated. Um, after the first few weeks, I mean, the weight really started to drop. I, I lost 30 pounds in that first two months. So that was good to see. It was good to see, you know, the weight dropping that, that helped keep me motivated. In the middle, I think it got tougher. The weight was, you know, as the weight was coming off, you know, I was getting in better shape. I had to work harder. I had to keep moving things up and working harder and doing different things to, to stay motivated. By the time Jerry got to the final five, he knew he had to kick it into high gear. Towards the end, it really got difficult. I'm not going to kid anybody. It was it was tough. You know, the last couple months were really difficult. But but I was feeling so much better. It made it easier. We we just kept working. We all have busy lives. We're thinking about our kids. We're thinking about the rest of the family, our jobs, everything else we have to juggle around the household. But the biggest thing you need to do when it comes to your weight loss is to get out of the house and get to the gym. Hi, Kelly. There's there's no easy way to do it. It's just. Watch what you eat and, and work out every day. Jerry made a diet plan similar to the Weight Watchers format with Heather. And he says many people are shocked to see how much weight he's lost. It added up to 62 pounds and 24% of his body weight. My goal is to eat right. If I see myself getting a pound or two over my goal weight, I get back on it. I either run or I get back to the gym and, and so far it's worked for me. He says he also does a lot of walking and climbing at work, so losing that 60 pounds made a big difference. And another bonus, he's gone from a size 42 waist down to a 34. I feel great. I feel better than I have in a long time. Jerry and his daughter Heather have made that lifestyle change, so now it's your turn. Here's a healthy recipe idea from the student chefs at Penta Career Center. Everybody loves pizza, so let's try to make a pizza maybe with a few less calories. Let's check in with Penta Career Center students here with culinary student Megan. Welcome. Hi. Now, what, tell me about the pizza that we're making tonight. We're going to make a pesto pizza. It's going right. to have fresh pesto on it. All right. And we're starting, of course, with, with a pizza the dough. dough. Okay, now did you make this dough fresh? Yes. Okay. And then we have some fresh pesto. Okay. So do we just okay. smear that on yep. there? Yeah, you okay. just put it on like you do the sauce. Like the sauce. Oh, okay. Did you make this pesto yourself as well? Yes. Oh, wow, of course. But if we didn't happen to have that, and we you had the one in the... jarred, yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you make the pesto with? There's parsley, pine nuts, some oil. It's very pretty. All right, now what? We have some diced up tomatoes. Okay. Toss them on there. They're fresh from the farm. All right. Green peppers, Got some it. bell peppers. Just sprinkle those on top. Mm -hmm. And some red onions. All right. And again, you know, maybe some of these things you might have in your refrigerator then mm -hmm. that you want to get rid yep. of. Okay. In your pantry or... Yeah. It's time for leftover pizza. All right. Now this is artichoke hearts. Yes. So artichoke okay. hearts just chopped up. All right. And just uh, how many artichoke hearts did you chop up? I did a can about it. Depends on how much you want though. It's oh, probably about okay. a third of a can. Okay. A third of a can. And you drained them. Yes. Good. Looks great. Yeah. And then some feta cheese. Oh, yeah. love it. Good idea. <laughs> so let's take this and... Put it in the oven, yep. right? Okay. Here's the pizza. Ooh, the feta lovely. does hold its shape more than like mozzarella. How many like calories stuff. do you think this has? A slice, probably about 300, 350. Yeah, wow, that's a beauty. Cut a little one for me. Hmm. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Especially when the feta cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice recipe. It, yeah. mm -hmm. Very good job.
Thank you. For the whole recipe, <laughs> go to our website at northwestohio.com. And now it's time to find out who made it into the top nine. They are, I'll have to tell you right after this.